Welcome back. This video is for an 07 to 13 when your door doesn't open like this. This is the door in question. This is currently a three door truck because I replaced the door handle here. And uh, if you unlock it, even from the inside, will not open. So we're gonna get the door panel off with the door closed so we can open it and then we can work with it out here. I've done this once before. Um, the lock actuator that does the thing that opens the door. Yeah, they rust and get gummed up and they don't work anymore. So I've got a new one to put in, but first we have this door panel off so we can get the door open. I'll show you how to open it without damaging anything. Now it is a bit tricky to get the door panel off with it with the door closed, but it is possible. So these camera angles are probably gonna be piss poor because, well, look at the space I have to work with. I'm not that small of a guy. Get some so. light on the subject. Even though my phone's got a light on it. Now, we're just going to do the baby steps first. So we'll get this uh, latch out of the way. This little little lock thing, you know. Okay, I'm going to need both hands. Bear with me here. We're going to do this together. My camera's going to be really shaky because I have a tripod right on the seat. But you're going to, there's a little, you just pop this out here. And then this comes off. Just pop that up just enough to get it off. So we'll set that to the side. And we'll go ahead and do the fasteners. There's, uh, I think, three total, if I remember correctly. There's one under this panel here. And just pop this little guy out. Scratch the piss out of it, of course. Take your time if you're on your own vehicle, but, you know, for this one... There goes the tripod already. So you have two in there. They're kind of recessed in, but there's one there, one there. 10 millimeters, that'll get you out. Then you got one down here below the door handle. Go ahead and just pop that guy out. Sorry for the shadows. Once we get the door open, it'll be a lot easier to work with. Let that fall. That's a little better. So we'll go ahead and get this one out. Actually, let's start with these two. Is that one missing one? Yep, so in my case, well, you only got two to deal with. Okay, now after you get those out, we're gonna pop the door panel off of its little, there's uh, little clips, you know, around the bottom. Yeah, just give it a yank. Try not to break it in the process. Okay, bottom separated and just pull it up like that. Now, this is where it gets fun. So GM so graciously did not put like a, I don't know, a bolt or a screw or anything to take this off. So you have to actually reach down behind the door panel and uh, release the cable from it. And you're gonna want some needle noses. Here's your, your cable in question. So there's tabs on the inside of it. So it's facing, you got a tab here and the tab on the other side. I'm sorry, I can't quite show you. It's only by feel. But what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab those tabs and just squeeze them together and pop this, this part of the cable out. And then you can undo it from the latch itself. All right, so what I did is I just uh, got the one, I actually did it with my finger. So I got the one um, clip like, pushed in and then pass the plastic. I just spun this thing and click the other one and pulled it out. You do have one electrical connector right under here. It just pops off like so. door panel is free, so we'll go ahead and get that out of here. After you wrestle that thing out of there, go ahead and just remove this, I think it's like a vapor barrier or a noise detonator or something. It's got this sticky stuff on the back. I don't always like to remove all of it, so we can put it back. Now what we're really after is that guy right there. So I'm going to try desperately to show you how to do this while holding the phone. 
because once I get the door open, and then we'll be okay. So this is the latch wheel. So when you open it from the uh, inside, you see it pulls like that, which does nothing. And then when you open it from the outside, it also does nothing. So you want to put a lock. Put the lock there. If I remember correctly. How did I do this last time? I need to roll that window up. Okay, now that it's super dark in here. Let's see. Yeah, you can see why I lubed it up. But it just ain't quite enough. So if I get my finger out, my hand, in there, maybe. And I can't remember if it's this one. There. So you want to push down on that with your finger or a tool. The door is open now. Let's do it again. So with it shut, this is your rod coming from the outside. And I don't know if you can adjust it, but I'm just going to replace it because I'm tired of doing this. So just push down on it and cut your hand off to get it out. All right, and then we'll go over the other side. At this point, we'll go ahead and get this barrier out of the way. This will give us a little more room. So, to get this thing out of here, we're going to have to undo that, which isn't very hard. I wonder if I adjust it. No, I'm just going to replace it. All right, we're going to undo that rusty thing and we'll worry about the cable when we get it out and then uh, this, this cable here yeah let's just pop that loose I think where do you pull that back and push I think we pull this back, and if I break it, hopefully if anyone comes with one. There it is. Okay, so yeah, it does open up like a clamshell. You guys see how that works? This is like threaded rod, and then this is the adjustment for it, which I could probably get away with just fixing that. But we're here, we're gonna just replace it. There you go. And we'll get these torques out. And as soon as I figure out what size they are, I'll take them out. Nice snug fit. That one broke loose. Good start. So did that one. Look at that, perfect. see how we go about getting this this thing out may have to move the where i wouldn't want to hopefully we don't have to move that oh we have the door the door lock to get out i see simple enough this is the connector i believe Maybe. 
there's our connector we need to unplug. Oh, it's got one of those, one of those guys on it. Pop this up. Like that. slide out. That's a pretty decent sized connector for this. But we just Yes, here we go. There's your rod for your door lock. There's your cable for your door handle. There we are. I haven't even opened it up yet. nice piece of foam yeah that looks about the same we'll go ahead and switch our uh, our rod take that out You can be kind of aggressive with it because we got a new bushing with our other one. Well, get out of it. So yeah, that's the old one. Go ahead and put our new rod in on this one. There's that, goes up to the door. We'll go ahead and go put this, this new guy in. This is a different latch on it than the other one. Now how does this work? It's like trying to break into Fort Knox or something. How does that work? Let's pop this up. There it is. So then the door latch slides down through there and you clip it on you can see it's kind of got those grooves in it so we'll go ahead and install this i'm gonna go ahead and plug it in Drop it in the door. There's one, and when it strips out, you know you're good. Looks like it's aligned pretty decent. Latch is now open. We can plug our connection back in. Way up the top. Okay, it's now latched and my hand is now stuck. So 
open the door, it pushes down. I think that's it right there. No, nope. am I smoking something? What, what are we doing? Oh, we're trying to put it in the backside. This thing that flipped around. See that? See what happens when you can see, kind of? Did it lock? Is that it? But it might be. Let's see. Ooh, that closes is nice. Please, God. So we may have to adjust that rod again without breaking it. Went ahead and broke it. check. Nope. Man, that closes so nice now. There it is. Man, that. That is a solid, a solid close. Okay. Lock is looking good. You don't have to use a 10 pound sledgehammer to put these on. Make sure your eggs are lined up. Put our uh, little locky dude back on here. Well, where did our threads go? Oh, they're gone. Well, those are kind of important. It opens so nice. It's got a nice solid clunk to it. All right, y'all. That's going to do it for this video. Uh, hopefully you learned something. It's kind of, uh, kind of a pain in the ass, kind of tight spot, but uh, it is worth it, honestly. I mean, it was a three-door truck, and uh, the other side's starting to do it, the other rear door. So I'll probably be replacing that one soon. But for now, this thing is fixed. We'll see how tomorrow goes because last time that I fixed it, well, it worked for a day. Came out the next morning, tried to open it. 
it wouldn't open. So we'll give it uh, 24 hours and see how it works. No, I'm just kidding. It should be fine. It should be fixed. Um, that adjustment, I think, was all that was wrong with it. But do you see in the condition of it? Uh, it was kind of poopy. So, And the door actually rattled. You'd hit bumps and stuff, and the door wasn't fully latched. I mean, it, there was no gap or anything, but it just seemed like it wasn't tight against the cab. If that makes sense. You hit a pothole or something, you can hit the door bouncing off the cab. So that was nice. But uh, that's going to do it for this video. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and comment and share and whatever you feel like doing. Maybe you just want to watch. And that's it. No feedback. Hmm? A lot of you guys aren't subscribed. Please consider subscribing. There's going to be a lot of videos like this. Just uh, your you know, run-of-the-mill videos that I put out. Yeah. Anyway, y'all have a good night or day or morning, whenever you're watching this, and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Before I completely end this video, uh, if you guys are having the same problem and you want to save some money, uh, it's probably this, this adjustment here. Uh, so if you close the door, well, you know, close the door, and you push down a little bit, it doesn't open. But if you were to adjust that cable, that rod, push it down further, it opens. But I don't understand why it wouldn't open from the inside or the outside. That's why I just replaced it just for extra measure. Because here's the inside door handle. And it opens it too. So I'm not exactly sure what was wrong with it. Because it wouldn't open, but you know, you've seen. Although well, the engagement point is about right there, so you only have that much to play with. Hmm. I don't know. Food for thought. They're cheap enough. Pick up another one. Plus, you get a new cable. These are these are notorious to break. So you could check that first. Okay. Bye now.